y'all. So today I'm going to be doing the first part of my February book haul. So you'll notice that I am in a slightly different location today. That's because I'm sitting on my bed rather than standing in front of my bookshelf because this book haul will be in several parts and all of the parts except for this one are going to be unboxings. And so it'll be much easier to set the box in front of me and kind of pick stuff out of it rather than like trying to unbox it while standing up in front of a bookshelf. I'll probably drop things. So it's much easier to just have it in front of me and sitting down. Right now I'm going to be showing you the books that I have with me right now and I will be filming unboxing videos as the rest of the boxes that I'm waiting for arrive. And depending on when they get here, there will either be two or three of these. I'm not sure how many more parts there will be because I do have three packages coming to me, two from Amazon and one from the book outlet. So the number of parts after this one depends on when they get here. If two of them get here the same day, I'll film a video unboxing both of them at the same time. So today I have three books to show you plus one other non-book related thing, which I'll get to in a minute. So the first book I have to show you is Wildflower by Janine Carbone. The author sent me this free ARC in exchange for an honest review, which I have already done. Since I have talked about this book already in a couple videos, I will leave a link down in the description to my February wrap-up where I talked about this book as well as my written review on Goodreads. The next book that I got in February was IQ84 by Haruki Murakami. Is that how you pronounce it? That sounds right. I don't know a ton of the details about the plot of this book, however I do know that it is a dystopian and it's described kind of in the same way as Infinite Jest. So it sounds really intricate and complex and really interesting. So the last book that I have with me right now is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And can we all just appreciate how absolutely gorgeous this cover is. Like when I first heard about this book, I was immediately taken by this gorgeous cover and just wow, it's so pretty. And the description for this book also sounds equally exciting. It is a fantasy dystopian, which is my absolute favorite genre. Like, fantasy and dystopian are my two favorite genres, and the combination of the two of them is just so perfect. So from what I understand, the main character of this book, Kel, can travel between alternate Londons and I think is a thief. And I think there are three or four different Londons, three that actually exist and one that no one talks about. And this just sounds absolutely amazing. This was one of my most anticipated releases of 2015. And honestly, I will probably be getting to this either in March or April. I'm that excited about this. So the last thing that I have to show you in this section of the haul is not book related. Um, I ordered a season of a TV show and it came in the package with A Darker Shade of Magic and um, it's one of my all-time favorite TV shows and not a lot of people that I know have seen it or know about it and I'm hoping that other people on here will maybe like have watched it and I can talk to them about it because it's just so amazing. And that TV show is The Mole Season 1. This is actually a fairly old TV show. This first season premiered I think in 2001. As you can see on the cover, Anderson Cooper is the host. Um, the main premise of this show is that there is a large group of contestants. This season it's 10 people. And they are all working together to gain money for the group pot, which one person will win in the end. However, one of the contestants isn't a contestant at all. They are the mole, and they are being paid by the producers of the show to sabotage the contestants and keep them from getting money in the pot. And the main goal of all the other contestants is to figure out who the mole is. At the end of every episode, all of the contestants take a quiz that asks questions about the mole, and the person who scores lowest on the quiz is eliminated. And this show is just amazing. There are only five U.S. seasons, two are hosted by Anderson Cooper, and then there are two celebrity editions, and then several years later there was a fifth season, um, like in 2008. And I've seen all of them multiple times. And I've since moved on to the Australian version because I needed more of it. Um, I haven't made my way through all of the Australian version, but um, after that I'll probably be going on to the UK version. I'm obsessed with this TV show. I think it's genius, and I love sitting there and trying to figure out who the mole is. Please tell me that there is someone else out there who loves this show as much as I do. Like. I am obsessed with the show. It's so awesome. If this sounds intriguing to you at all, I would totally suggest that you watch it because it's really entertaining and I think all of the American seasons are on YouTube. 
Um, that's where I've watched all of it. Several seasons of the Australian version are also on YouTube, which is what I'm watching now. However, I did want to have this on DVD because it is my favorite season of the show, and it's one of my all-time favorites. So yeah, sorry to like take us away from the books, but I just wanted to talk about this because it's beautiful. So that's the end of this section of the book haul. Um, this won't be the last time you see me because in a few seconds it's going to change over to the next section where I'm going to do an unboxing. So I'll see you then. Hey y'all! So you just saw me a couple seconds ago, but I'm back here a couple days later and I just got home from campus and in my mailbox there were two boxes! Um, obviously the bottom one is from Book Outlet, the top one is one of the orders that I made on Amazon. There are either seven or eight books in here, um, I can't remember the exact number. And there is one book in here, if you've seen my February wrap-up and March TBR, you would have seen that my challenge for this month is Treat Yourself, which is to buy a book that you've been dying to read for a long time and read it immediately. And this is that book. I chose and I have now gotten it. And for that reason, I'm gonna start with the book outlet box. Keep the suspense alive for a couple minutes more. Okay, I'm not sure holding this up is a very good idea, but you know what? I'm trying to keep this in view of camera and not show you my address at the same time, so we're gonna go with this. If I can cut things, you'd think I would know how to cut things as a 20-year-old adult, but sometimes I wonder. There we go. And as always, there is a lot of paper. Ah. Okay. I'm just going to start grabbing things out of this box, so I'm going to go from whatever's at the top of the box to whatever's at the bottom of the box. So the first book that I see here is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, I've been eyeing this ever since it came out last year, and this was pretty cheap on Book Outlet, so I decided to get it. For those of you who don't know, the main character, whenever she has a crush, she will write a love letter to that crush, um, put it in an envelope, address it, seal it, and put it in a box under her bed and she never sends them, and she has these letters for all of the crushes she's ever had in her life, and then somehow they all get mailed out to the boys that she addressed them to. So this seems like something I might want to pick up in the summertime. It's a little bit uh, lighter of a read than I normally go for, since it's not a fantasy or dystopian or something like that, but um, I am really intrigued by this book. Okay, next book, next book. The next book that I see here is hashtag scandal or just scandal. I'm not sure if the hashtag is supposed to be included in like the title, like calling it hashtag scandal. And this is by Sarah Ockler. Basically in this book, the main character's best friend is sick on the night of prom. And so the main character ends up going to prom with her best friend's boyfriend, kind of like as a stand in. And then I believe that her best friend's boyfriend kisses her and a picture of that goes on Facebook for everyone to see, and that this is kind of like the aftermath of that incident. I've heard fairly average things about this, however, since I am a very avid user of the internet and social media, this really intrigued me, and I think it's a really interesting concept. And once again, it seems like a book that I would enjoy reading in the summertime, so maybe I'll get to this this summer. So the next book that's in here is Wintertown by Stephen Emmond. I first heard about this book from Ariel Bissett. The basic premise of this book, from what I understand, is that there are a girl and a guy who have been best friends since they were kids, and every year they try to get back together and meet up and talk, and one year when they get back together, the girl has like significantly changed. She went from being to like the girl next door to being this like really edgy alternative girl, and Evan is basically trying to figure out what happened to her to cause her to change so significantly. I guess you'll probably be seeing a pattern by this point. I got some more contemporaries than I normally read. I guess I was kind of in the mood for some contemporaries when I bought all these books. So the next book in here, oh, there's a thing in here. Is this my receipt? This is my receipt. I'm not going to show that to you. Okay. So the next book in here is Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. Um, I did buy this as a scratch and dent copy. Um, it looks like, fortunately, the only thing that's damaged is that this is bent. Yeah. Okay. I was I was hoping that it wouldn't be anything too bad, and it is just a fold. Okay, cool. I don't know a ton about the plot of this book, but I do know that it's a dystopian and that apparently a lot of people say it has really great world building, which is really important to me, and I always love a lot of great world building. Um, I bought the second book in this trilogy um, at the end of last year, and so when I saw that this was on Book Outlet and that it was a cheap copy, scratch and dent, I was like, I'll go ahead and get it. Okay, two more books in here. So the next book is Illusion by Sherilyn Kenyon. This is book five in the Chronicles of Nick. I haven't started the series yet, however, all of the books that are out are on Book Outlet for really cheap, 
And so I've been collecting them and I plan to read them all once I, the last book comes out. I'm not sure how many books there are going to be. The sixth one comes out sometime later in March. All I really know about the series is that it is an urban fantasy series revolving around a guy named Nick. It sounds very similar to like the Shadowhunter Chronicles. So um, that just has me really intrigued because I love the moral instruments and the infernal devices. So yeah, I saw this one for really cheap and I decided to go for it. And the last book in this box is possibly the most exciting. It's, oh, it's, it got ripped a little bit. However, that doesn't bother me too much because this is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. And if you see the sticker here, it is a signed copy. I'm trying not to read the description as I open this up. Ooh, look, I've already seen that Brandon Sanderson has a cool signature and yeah, it's really cool. I haven't started the series. However, um, I do have the first book in paperback and I saw that there was an autographed copy on Book Outlet and I could not pass up that opportunity. Um, like I said, the back of this just jacket is ripped a little bit, but nothing too bad. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay, so that is it for the Book Outlet box. And now I'm going to move on to my TBR jar book for the month of March. Any guesses as to what it is as I open this? I talked about a couple books in my TBR that I was considering for this. And I also made a whole top of my TBR video that talked about books I was really intrigued by at the moment. So yeah, any guesses? Last chance. Okay. If I can get it out of the package. And so the book that I will be reading starting today that is my TBR jar pick is The Body Electric by Beth Revis. Like I've said in the past, I absolutely love Beth Revis's trilogy, the Across the Universe trilogy, and this is the only other book that she's published, and it sounds equally as intriguing as um, the Across the Universe trilogy, and so I expect some pretty great things out of this book, and I've heard some really wonderful things about this book. So I am so excited about this book. How many times can I say this book in one statement? This also feels kind of more like a um, like UK edition because it's really stiff. It's not very floppy. Um, but yeah, it's really soft. I like how soft this cover is. So yeah, that is all for this section of the unboxing. I still have one more package that should be coming to me hopefully in the next few days. It, today's Monday and I leave out on Saturday so it could only get here sometime between Tuesday and Friday and me have it before um, I go on spring break. And those are the books that I plan to be reading over spring break, so hopefully they get here soon. And plus I want to get this video up on like Saturday or Friday, so hopefully those get here before then. So hopefully this isn't the end of the video and I will see you in just a few seconds. Hey y'all. Oh my goodness. Hi wall. <laughs> hey wall.